Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Today's character is Kane. I think that's okay. So, where are you, Kane? I found you. Kane, 2 health, 1.2 damage multiplier, lucky foot. Okay. Uh, which will give us a luck up. Doesn't affect our pills anymore. Better gambling. We found a D6 immediately. I'm risking it. It wasn't worth it. Uh, D6 is a special item, so seeing it makes us less likely to find other special items. That doesn't apply for Isaac because he spawns with it. No, you can't put it down, pick it back up, and have it count. That's not how it works. Um, it allows us to reroll items, as we all know. It also starts with a key. Low range and only one side of um, one eye shoots. Cool stuff. Don't do that. I hate these. Like, this room in particular is kind of sucky because it's really risky to deal with. There might be a spot that um, causes them to run out, though. Like, if I go here, here, there you go. The, I lured him out, and now I'm almost dead. So, uh, yeah, that curse room really screwed me over right about now. So I'm going to need some good luck and uh, decent play in order to not die, which I feel like I'm not going to have right now. I don't need keys right now, game. Ouch, I want hive mind, and I want that soul heart, and I want everything. Dang. Okay. I like that they die in one hit. Okay, I'm getting them. I'm buying them right now. Nothing, uh, nothing will stop me. Okay, it wasn't spiders, surprisingly. I'll just buy the soul heart. I'll see how much this gives me this time. Three cents. Fine. Hive mind's unlikely, so... We'll just go with, uh, what we got. Which we've got to hold on to, by the way. Not sure if you knew that. So many key drops, this is crazy. Uh, I heard a key all the way on the other side of the room, I guess. I don't know uh, that I've seen this room. Because I don't remember there being a drop there. Well, I don't have any bombs, because I used both of mine on the shop. But that's okay. No thanks. You guys want to back off? You're really bugging me. Oh wow, there are two keys there. I mean, I, I don't have the means, so it doesn't really matter how many there are. Okay, I see that you, uh, you're trying to... Oh, don't do that. I need the soul heart to live. Alright, stopped you from spawning too many more. Nothing for that? Nice. Alright. Let's kill this first, kill this second, kill this third. I would love another bomb. No. No, you wouldn't. You lie. Alright, fine. I guess I was lying, but that's fine. Because I have at least one half of a soul heart, and that's what counts. Maybe I'll get something real good here. It's totally possible. The world may never know, though. Taking this nice and slow. Killing everything as it spawns. Life is good. Life is good. Cheers up by 0.7. Sure. Uh, I mean, this is all I can do this floor. This is what I'm stuck with. Let's go. Alright, I would love to go to that curse room, but it is not yet time. I'm going to go that way after I go this way. So as you can see, these things definitely do have scaling health, as I was one-shotting them on the previous floor. And I don't know how many enemies have that, but it's like it seems like it's just these guys. It's really awkward. That it's just the little poops. Like, why did just the little poops have scaling health? 
Why not every enemy? Two bombs to get in there. I don't have any bombs. All right, well, time to go through that room that I kind of don't like. But honestly, it's no big deal because you're in and out so quickly. I don't take the time to shoot the fires in that room. It's pretty much the only room where it's like that if I uh, am willing to shoot fires in general. So, it's an odd exception to the rule. Speed up, but also, a, uh, it's a large speed up, 0.6, but it's also a range up and shot height up, apparently. Still, I'm pretty, uh, pretty okay with this. Alright. Alright. My life is a happy place. Yes, yes it is. So far, so good. Just need to find the boss now, and then the devil room, and then have more than half a soul heart left over after the devil room, ideally, but eh, who knows, maybe it'll just be Abaddon. There you go, that's what I need. Millions and millions of keys seeking a home. I am the one to provide it. That'll be rats. The more the merrier. For those keys seeking homes, I I am I am your place. Look no further. Alright. I'm so fast. Monstro is so easy to dodge right now. That one couldn't do the high jump, by the way. Health up. Oof health up that I don't take because it takes uh, my health regeneration out of my control. But I will take uh, Rotten Baby, it spawns one fly for me, and uh, when that fly dies it'll spawn another one. And that is that, that is what it does. Okay, there is a soul heart available, but I don't have enough money. I... Uh, I don't have a strat for this. Besides, I guess, shoot these fires and hope. Don't get hit, though. Come on. Uh, I, I don't have strats. I don't have a way to get that last cent. Going anyway. It was worth Total profit. Everything's fine. That was a risk, though. Probably wasn't really worth it. It turned out okay, but that doesn't mean it was a worthwhile risk. Though, yes, I would have gotten the red heart back at least. But that would have been fine. Gluttony could give me a health up, which I'd be pretty okay with that. Thank you, flies, and we got the health up. And our first bomb in a little while. Why? Thank you. Alright, everything's good. Uh, the secret room's real tempting. Screw it, I don't care. Remember, pills aren't guaranteed to be good. Pretty fly, though, is good. Health down, whatever. Would have been health up if I uh, didn't get that health up already. Oh, that sucks. Oh, well. I just shot there immediately and I didn't uh, yet have time to even see that when I was already moving there. There was no possible reaction to it. It was just uh, gonna hit me. That sucked. And so did that uh, health down now that I <laughs> actually need the health. Life though. We'll be fine. What are you? High Priestess summons mom's foot to stomp on something. Uh, I don't think the toxic, or, or the, that's a um, mysterious liquid which gives toxic splash damage. I don't think it's that good. That's also the High Priestess, that's odd. Yeah, so I don't think that's worthwhile. 
to just be honest with you, I don't think that's worthwhile when I can reroll it. So I can't reroll it at the moment. Because I still have potential, um, or, well, I'm, I'm most of the way through the floor. I still have to deal with uh, the boss room, possible devil room, and um, shop, maybe. Even though I have a reroll available now. Gotta wait. I have good range, which is nice. Thank you, Fly, for doing something. Alright. Starter deck. Okay, I, I will take the starter deck. Which gives me a card drop, and I can hold two cards now. And pills will no longer drop, so that's a... Oh, it's a rune, too. Look at all this exciting stuff going on that I just don't have any... I can't do anything with it right now. Ah, you see? You see? Gotta be extra careful with some of my movement here. Make sure not to accidentally die. Halo, all stats up. 0.3 is the damage value, but, you know, the health value is what I care about. And since there's a battery, it doesn't matter. Everything's fine. Now I have a little bit of, uh, leeway with making a slight mistake or two. Alright. Life's good. Life's good. Got a bomb. I could use that to buy the battery. The rune, I guess, is what I care about most. Dork one. We got the dork one. Alright, I shouldn't do that. That's just not a good strat in general. Getting below the dork one. As it will fire some brimstone at you. Even if you're out of the way in no time. It's not, that's a risk, man. It's a risk. Health up and luck up. Luck up by one. Uh... Am I good to go? Nah, I gotta know what the rune is, man. That rune, though, the, the best thing it can be is Perthro, which isn't a huge deal. Alright, three flies and three spiders. Spiders do two and a half times my damage, by the way. Alright, let's go. I had to know. If it had been Perthro, it would have made pretty much literally no difference in my life, but that's, uh, that's okay. Yo, I didn't give you the seed, did I? There it is. Oops. There it is again. So that's, uh, the seed. I like how it's on the D6 run, too. I found the D6 in my first item room. That's okay, someone in the comments will be your hero and post the seed. And it'll be great. Hey. Did you forget about me? Magic Mushroom, all stats up. Uh, that's 0.3 damage up, but it also has a 1.5 damage multiplier. So basically, it's a way bigger damage up. It also doesn't contain a tears up, but that's okay. So it's not a true all stats up, and then I don't even count um, shot speed and luck. They're not main stats, but they are stats. All right. Oh, well, there goes most of my devil room chance, which means I can go straight over there to that curse room with my about to be newfound reroll. Alright, what do you got? A soul heart, I like that. You know, I'm, I'm cool with, with soul hearts, man. We get along. Alright.
Good stuff. Sorry, right, shooting the fires before I shoot this loser. Now I'll shoot this loser. Sure. Pretty much kill it instantly. No problem. No lucky devil room, and that's a damage up, so I'm totally in for it. Uh, it's 1.0 damage up and uh, shot speed up. Probably by 0.23, if I had to guess. Because that's what it was. In the original, by the way. Not a random guess or anything. Good. Go away. Go away. There is still a shop to find, I believe. No, that was the shop. I just don't have a reason to go there. That's a large shot speed up. Apparently like 0.5 or something crazy like that. <clears throat> Maybe 1.0. <laughs> Either way, it's a lot of shot speed, and I don't really have a need for it. Like, while I consider it a neutral stat, I definitely think that there can be too much of it. It's just that that too much isn't immediate anymore. Oh, I see. Well, I don't have one of the important things, so I just won't pick it up, and maybe if I get one of the important uh, cards, or, well, runes, really, I only care about runes, uh, then I will take it if it shows up again, because it can. I'm not going to go to the shop, and we're going to go on... Eh, why not go to the shop? I can get a reroll there. See, but then I could also need this black candle more than I need anything else in life ever. I've never needed anything else more. Oh, oh wait, that was good. Now I'm getting the reroll though. So that's tough luck, buddy. All right, let's go reroll that blank card. So the black candle makes it so that I can't get curses on floors, and I also get a black heart. Teleport. I'll pick it up to make sure it doesn't appear in, like, another room somewhere. I don't know if it's still in the challenge room, but stuff like that. Let's go. My range is real high. Which, all right, what are you? Okay. Okay. Yep. Yep. Dead and, oh. I guess the fly did that. Come on. Nice, I actually got them all in one go. Didn't expect that. Got a key, which has kind of been typical of this run, and I'm okay with that. Eh. So much money. Tinted rock, of course. Uh, that's an item to re-roll. Maybe. Maybe not, who knows. I'll figure it out as we continue on with our lives. Two more soul hearts, I like that. This is a good attitude the game has taken on right now. That gravity champion. <clears throat> I wish I had the money to buy that habit that showed up. Another Empress card. More damage up than the, the devil is technically, but whatever. Okay, store credit lets me buy one thing from the shop at no cost. Which is okay. I've got no other trinkets, so it's something to carry around for now. Strange Attractor. I think Strange Attractor is real bad. I'm going to go ahead and avoid it. It makes it so that my tears have a uh, pull to them. Enemies will be pulled towards them, much like the Gravity Champion. I walked into spikes there. Don't mind me. Leech also takes health regeneration out of my control, as I and I've now stopped taking it. Uh, there's really no reason to take PhD, except so that it doesn't show up again, so I'll do it. 
drops a pill, but I can't get pills, so drops a card. Joker teleports me to the Devil Room. Which I should probably save, so I'd rather have the Empress and... Um, ooh, yeah, there are going to be enough rooms. I've decided. Tiny Planet. Screw it. I'm taking Tiny Planet. Fight me, game. Tiny Planet. Which uh, makes my tears orbit around me. I think my fire rate's high enough that I can maybe make this work. And uh, I get a lot of range, and apparently it's a huge shot height up rather than spectral tears. But does shot height really let your tears go over the walls of the room as well? I didn't know that. But I'm just relaying the information I'm given. Everyone tells me it's a huge shot height up, it's not spectral tears. Whatever, I'll take it. For all intents and purposes, you do have spectral tears, since apparently your tears even travel over walls of the room, but it is apparently technically not quite spectral tears. So if you have a good enough fire rate, you can pretty much flood the room with your tears, which is a great lyric for your emo band. Probably one, let's go. Oh, why did I think this was the dork one again, basically? It's what I was essentially operating as. Uh, Small rocks one damage up, by the way. Yeah, I figured I'd get a double room here. And it's just Krampus. Well, if you give me the lump of coal, that's really good with a uh, tiny planet. By the way, depending on what your uh, proximity is, you want to just aim away from an enemy. Aw, that's mean. Ceremonial robes, one damage up, three black hearts. I'm leaving the speed up there because I really don't need it. And if it's something that I get to reroll, uh, I will do it. Strange attractor would still be terrifying, but it'd be a little less terrifying. Nah, it'd be really terrifying. I think I'm going to still leave that one behind. Alright. Good stuff. Don't, don't do this to me. I'm doing a lot of damage. This is good. Sadly, I already fought the uh, challenge room. Don't hit the bomb. You didn't hit it too far, so it's fine. All right, so I don't get another reroll, and that's totally okay with me. I'm just going to leave that, and I'm going to take the speed up, and life will be good. So the Joker is to be saved, essentially, for when I miss a Devil Room. Wow. Game. Let's go, then. Strange Attractor would be just a terrible idea. It would be just awful. I wish that Krampus had cooperated, though. Giving me the lump of coal. That would have been nice. I get so much damage out of that due to the super high range that I have. What are you? You're what I was hoping for. Right there. Alright. Sure, counterfeit penny. Chance that money is worth more than normal. 50% chance. Oops, I messed up there. Fine, never give me the thing. Two of hearts, that gives me literally one heart. But that's okay. Kill you as well. Thanks, bro. Man, cooperate a little. All right, we're going to try this again, brother. I can't believe you right now. Nope, you're getting another. You. I just, I don't believe it. You want my blood more than anything right now. Thank you. Sun gives me the uh, full map minus the top secret room. A uh, thousand red hearts of recovery, a hundred damage to every enemy in the room. It's pretty good times. 
And I got Gimpy, which is every time I get hit, a chance to drop a Soul Heart or Black Heart. I, I don't need to blow these up, I already have the Magic Mushroom. And a chance for those. And every time an enemy dies, a chance it drops a half red heart. Alright. Nice. Could have gone to the boss challenge room, uh, but it, it's too late now, obviously. I'm really not worried about it. Not the most important thing. Yeah, I could be doing this more efficiently instead of wasting D6 charges. Could be going to the item room, getting extra chances at rerolls here. But. Too late. Well, I got my key back. I didn't get my bomb back, but that's alright. At least I got something back. Oh, the one lived. Only one. I don't know how I didn't get hit there, but I'm willing to accept it. Okay. I had to make sure, find out. Can't get to that tinted rock. As I do not currently have the ability to fly. Odd as that may seem. Really? You count as still having your invincibility hitbox when you're dead? Ah, uh, yeah, that's amazing. That makes my tears much larger, it doesn't give me a damage up, but it makes it so that my tears pierce enemies and, um, I get piercing and spectral tears. It's a shot speed down, but that's okay. This is a good item, because, uh, with, with, uh, Tiny Planet, piercing tears is one of the best things you can get. Because that means your tears can continue on hitting tons and tons of things and... Just overall being tons of damage for you. It's, it's good stuff. It's very good stuff. Let's check you out. There is a battery here. So I can go ahead and reroll this. Too late for that. Whatever, I took it anyway. It makes it so that uh, bosses drop two items and I get to choose from them, like I will with the uh, Polaroid and the negative on this run. So, I mean, it's really good, it's just not that good now because there's only one more boss where that will even be an option, a useful possible thing that could happen, and that's on the womb one. A little late on the golden key. So, I mean, that that's worthless, but that's cool too. Yeah? I like it. Got the devil room anyway. We're definitely going to the chest since we have the D6. Guppy's collar. I'll take it just because. The guppy item. Sure. 50% chance that I revive at half of a heart if I die. And every time I die, it can keep happening over and over and over. If it truly feels like it. If it truly feels you deserve to live. as you can see, getting piercing, really good for Tiny Planet. That's pretty much Tiny Planet's far and away best combination. Two of diamonds, I do not care. There we go, did it right that time. I meant to use it, so I did. Fix that problem. Of course, uh, one tier can only hit one enemy one time. But it can also hit other enemies one time, so... Generally pretty good stuff. Empress is gonna uh, be 1.5. Oof. Damage up. And a speed up. Lame. I just didn't care how much damage I took there. I could have done that a little more effectively, but... You know, it's really whatever. No luck there. That sucks. Dang. I messed up grabbing it on the way um, out. Because you can just go back in and then grab it and come back out without getting hit again. But I messed up. Okay, at least I didn't really lose more than I had to. So, 
Doesn't really matter that much how that went down. Ugh. Hey guys. Hope you were all having fun there. Here to rain on your parades. Whoops, how about no? Gimpy's not doing much. <laughs> I just walk into enemies. It's my hobby, walking into enemies. You know how it is. I had like full health when I got here. That's kind of funny. It's okay, I'll be fine. Maybe not, because Tiny Planet is actually really bad, but like maybe I will be fine. Most of that was my fault. But in the future, it might be Tiny Planet's fault, is what I'm saying. You know, I'm not trying to blame it for what happened so far, but in the future, it could be for, uh, it could be a problem. All right. You bet I'm taking the health up and not uh, experimental treatment. For now, Joker. And you suck. Maybe you don't suck so much. That's our second guppy piece though, which is kind of unfortunate. But I'll take it. Nine uh, respawns sets me to one heart, so sadly I wasted a beautiful health up that I could have taken and uh, had two hearts now, but two thirds guppy, man. Guppy's real good with uh, this kind of setup. Sure, take my money, I don't need it. What do you want? Want more money than I have? Why, yes you do. You know what that means. I only got one more for you, I'm sorry. My gift may be a little bit inadequate. Oh, but this gift may be a little better. <sighs> Thanks for taking so much. I appreciate it letting me refill it a little better. This is a nice, uh, nice contribution that it's making. Oh, what do we got over? Oh, God. Oh, God. Life is horrible. Two cents. Oh, this is going to be a room. Ow. Didn't like that. All right, we're getting really framey. I'm gonna fix that. All right, we good now. Life's okay. Oh, that was, I didn't dodge that. That was luck, but you know, we made it. Oh, worth a life to go in uh, the curse room? Yes, guppy. Goat head? I don't need that. What are you? Suicide king? Oh god. Hanged man? Alright, so... I can't get back in here. Meaning, I have to use this now. Uh, reroll now, and not suicide king in here. But we got guppy, so it's cool. Now I can get back in here, technically. Sure. Three items! That's perfect RNG, yo. Okay, so I have Guppy's tail. What are you? Chaos card, don't care. Two of clubs. Or I'll take doubled bombs. The world, sure. Lovers, don't care. Uh, I'm gonna reroll Goathead, but I'll take the other two. Packed, 0.5 damage up, 0.7 tears up, and two soul hearts. And uh, contract from below adds one drop to the end of a room, every room that drops something. We'll get one more of them, one more drop, and it'll be identical. Well, I guess I can use this to start off my fly count. I'll take the chaos card, but I really don't care to use it. It just kind of is boring at this point. Got my fair share of using it early on in the game's lifespan. Uh, it just one shot something, it just kills something. It touches it, it dies. Battery, you say? Well, who needs soul hearts when you've got batteries? Oh, I even dropped another soul heart in here. That's kind of funny. The mark. 
Uh, one damage up, point two speed up, and um, a soul heart. That's good. So Guppy gave me flight, by the way. Makes it so that I spawn a uh, kamikaze fly every time I hit with a tier. It's generally good stuff. Now you best enjoy this. Hmm. Thanks. I asked it to enjoy, and it enjoyed thoroughly. I appreciate that. It was a nice guy listening to my request. I dropped another soul heart in there. I mean, it doesn't matter because I can't get out without getting hit again. But technically, there's a chance that I drop another soul heart when I leave, and I could get that one. If I actually pay attention, especially, uh, then I'll get it without getting hit again. So here, it doesn't really matter which way I'm shooting. I'm not going to get that close to enemies. And I've got this huge cloud of tears that'll just keep on frying on things. And I've got all these kamikaze flies, of course. So since I have Guppy's Tail, I have an increased uh, rate of chest and golden chest drops and a decreased rate of other drops. And I get two of them thanks to uh, Contract from Below. This will be great for the chest, ideally. can't believe my luck with regular chests as opposed to golden chests. Alright, first I gotta pay a visit to uh, that donation machine once more, because it's still taking stuff. See if there's a soul heart in here, uh, bomb at least the triple. Don't need that. Alright, I mean, this feels pretty good. I like this run. It's a good run. Alright, I'll check the soul heart thing again, because technically I could come out ahead from that. Nice! Took every single cent that I tried to give it. And then it would have taken a little more. But it doesn't get any more because I'm done. Okay, didn't get it. But we didn't lose anything for trying, so good stuff. So, to the cathedral. Where? This way. I've just decided that randomly. Wow, the death. You just experienced death. Extra special for you. Oh, that's the wrong way. You're you're running into a mess there, buddy. By the way, the nice thing about the um I'm just taking it. The nice thing about the Suicide King card is that it uses the pool of whatever room you're in. That's why I had to use it in um I didn't check, but it didn't happen. That's why you have to use it in the curse room. You don't have to, technically, but like, you know, that's why it's the best idea to use it in the curse room. Unless you have, like, um, Goat Head or something that guarantees your Devil Room will stay open. So that you can, uh... get Devil Room items. Or Angel Room items, if you've got an Angel Room on it and have the ability to keep it open. But you know what I'm saying. So you want to use it in there, and life is going to be great from uh, that moment forward. All right. Beautiful. And I'm not re-rolling anything because it's just, it's, I'll, I'll get my re-roll share in the chest. It'll be fine. Where are you? Another one? Huh. I might just use it in the chest, first room of the chest rather than the curse room here, just to get more items to reroll at once. Hopefully. And like batteries and stuff. I feel like that's more useful. Even if technically it might not go as uh, smoothly and cleanly and nicely and happily and whatever. It might not work out as well. But, then again it might. I have a pretty fly, I forgot about that guy. The true bro. 
Ow. What a jerk you are, Isaac. Oh, you almost died there. So you know. Okay. Do it. I don't know where I get teleported from the Suicide King since I'm dying in this room and I haven't been to any others. Huh. Okay. Nice. Okay, that's that makes sense. I don't have anything to activate scapular with. That's kind of my problem here. Yeah, oof. Well, Judas' shadow is good. Other than that, I'm gonna leave them all for another reroll. Which will come. Worry not. Uh, so Judas' shadow will, if I die, I'll respawn as Judas' shadow. Uh, which will multiply my damage. Well, it, it's a 2.0 damage multiplier. I already have a 1.2 damage multiplier. So it'll really multiply my damage by like 1.75 in this case or whatever. But... Uh, you get a 2.0 damage multiplier. That's a nice thing. But the problem is that I have to go through all of my nine lives from the dead cat first. Which uh, is obviously a bit of a hassle, and I'm going to try not to do that. But if I happen to get Judas of Shadow active, I happen to get Judas of Shadow active. I uh, don't use the D4 in general. I think it's very uh, not fun. It's very much the opposite of fun. Anemic. It's got a range up in it. And Thunder Thighs, it's a health up, so I'm saving it for that possibility of that respawn. You know, where I might actually need it, because that's possibly my last life. So really, I'm playing to Juice his Shadow, but I'm not trying to activate it. You know, if it activates, it activates, I'll be ready, but... I'm not going for it. Cricket's Body. That won't come in handy at all, sadly. Otherwise, it'd be great. But I have Piercing and Spectral Tears, and it doesn't activate like the Parasite does, where uh, when it hits an enemy, it has to uh, be the tear actually disappearing from the hit. That's useless. A Dry Baby uh, absorbs tears, and uh, randomly will decide that it's time to activate a Necronomicon effect to damage every enemy in the room. And he's generally a guy that I think is pretty great. He's a pretty swell dude. Alright, so this is pretty silly because I can fire really lowly charged things and get way more tears out, or I can fire enormous tears. And the fly's damage will be determined by my charge, so I can get some pretty nice stuff going. And it charges really quickly, so it's pretty worthwhile to do very large charges. A lot of the time, double shot, you don't say, so that means I shoot two tears. With no um, penalty to my fire rate, no penalty to anything. It's simply amazing. But it doesn't work with many tier effects that change your actual tiers from tiers. Alright, I'm not uh, done here yet. As this run is too freaking sweet to be done. So, you know, we've still got lots of things to reroll. Thank you for your uh, contribution. Mom's eye. Eye in the back of your head like it says, chance to fire another tier from behind, but apparently I have enough luck that I always seem to fire it. And sure, I'll take big fan. Which uh, is a very slow moving orbital. Does okay damage. Um, locks tears and stuff. And I don't have very many complaints. So many tears, this is awesome. Oops. That's a pretty good room for dying uh, on purpose, though. Oh my god. These flies with a full charge, man. More health for Judas' shadow. I don't know if I get another reroll here, unfortunately. I need some pretty good luck. I'm finding enough items, though. Crystal ball, sure. Gives me the secret room and 
location and the layout of the floor, including the icon rooms. Not the top secret room though. Strength, uh, magic mushroom for a room. Let's check this out. Okay, it's not fighting room, but I don't need it to be because there are fighting rooms here. I can get so many tears on screen in such a small amount of time. This is beautiful. A little late, but that's all right. Blunker hat tells me that I've got a uh, top secret room here. Let's check it out. Check it out. Kill me. So I'm gonna I'm gonna get Judas a shadow active. Since I prepared so much for it, and we still have our boss to go, we have one more reroll. So I guess let's uh, head over there because that's where we're gonna respawn most conveniently anyway. Dad's key, you don't say. That's good. And then that's uh, Pisces, tears up and knockback shot. Makes my tears larger, doesn't give me a damage up or anything. Blue baby's only friend. Gives me this dude, kind of like Ludovico. Does damage, it's okay. So now let's get Judas's shadow active. Uh, Guppy's collar can activate at any time here, by the way. If it feels like it. I only have two black hearts, but that's okay. <laughs> Alright, so now let's go grab some health ups. And stuff like that. Kill Blue Baby. HP up, speed down. Stompy. So I crush rocks and such uh, by walking over them. Poops, uh, skulls, all that stuff. Where was Lard? Was in that room, I guess? which is two HP up. No, that's not right. But that Eternal Heart is useful. Where is Lard hiding? Uh, two HP up, only half a heart filled, and speed down. That's not it either. Maybe the top? Yeah, that's the one. Why didn't I take the Mystery Sack? It drops a random pickup. I don't think that includes batteries, so it's not important, but like, why not take it? There's no reason not to. I'm gonna activate both my cards on the Mega Satan fight. It'll be more fun that way. Blue Baby will just die to my flies since I'm charging. It'd be great. Gotta save the big tier reveal for once I've done all the damage up stuff though in the Mega Satan fight. Oh really? Alright then, later. Nice knowing you. Surprisingly, uh... Not what I expected to get out of that. God, shooting three tiers per shot. At no fire rate delay. With uh, Tiny Planet is especially good, because, you know, normally one of the tiers would be useless because it's firing out of the back of my head and doesn't go anywhere useful. But with Tiny Planet, it does exactly the same thing as my other tiers. Sure, when I get hit, chance that I gain damage. All right, come on, a mashing Q, there we go. This is nice. This is very nice. You're not gonna last very long, dude. I couldn't even see the tears that he was shooting at me, so good thing I killed him so fast, am I right? And that is Judas's shadow for you. <clears throat> that was a pretty good run. That was very fun stuff. <laughs> I liked how that turned out. I don't know. That was cool. I hope you enjoyed the episode as well. Yeah, you get it. That's the whole thing. Oh, let's check the stats. Okay. I hope you enjoyed the episode as well. Thank you for watching. And I will see you next time.